Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel. My name is Teresia and I would like to show you today how I prepare my station for tattooing. Let's start with the basics first. I use these white dental pads for my station to make sure everything stays clean and hygienic. You can also use it as a background for your clients when you take photos. First things first, I clean my client's skin with disinfectant and cotton pads. Before I start with the shape, I like to pluck the brows with this amazing tweezer, which has very sharp endings. This white mapping string will help you to create your basic lines. For very precise and clean lines, I use this pencil. Make sure you sharpen your pencil properly. In order to clean your lines, you can use these wooden sticks. I also use them when I need to check my outline. These correctors have a special place in my heart. I love them so much. They have super nice consistency and you will be able to create the most precise lines. I use number 0N for my clients with Fitzpatrick scale number 1 and 2. For my clients with Fitzpatrick scale number 3 and 4, I like to use 3N. To make sure your bottom line is visible for the outline, use a brush. You can nicely define the shape. You don't want to lose your shape. In order to fix my shape, I really like to use this basic baby powder. I really like to use silicone cups for my pigments because it's safer for my needle. I always prepare two cups, one for pigment and one for secondary anesthetic. Let's talk more about anesthetic now. I never use primary anesthetic, I only use secondary anesthetic. My favorite one is Feel Better Now. I use this foil to make sure that my secondary anesthetic works properly. I really like to prepare different configurations of the cartridges on my trolley. Lately, I started to use this rocket machine where I can change my strokes. You can change for 2.0 or 3.0. There is a few different types of power supplies, but I really like these two. This is a wireless power supply and with this one you need to use a cable. To protect my machine from cross-contamination I like to use this wrap and the foil. The last thing what you can find on my trolley is a lot of cotton pads and a green soap to clean the pigment from the skin. I already spent a lot of money for products because I wanted to make sure that I tried a lot of them and I finally found my favorite ones. In today's video I presented them to you so I hope I can save you some money and time. Also remember, not everything what is very expensive, it also means that it's the best. I personally use products what I really like and I recommend you to try and see if you like it or not. I hope this video will help you guys. Thank you much for watching. If you still didn't subscribe, please do. It really means the world to me. Bye!